Hi, it's Texas. I'm CBS 19 Chief Meteorologist Brad Anthony. Thanks for reading the CBS 19 weather blog. This video is designed to enhance your experience reading the blog, perhaps explain a few things or give you the visual element as you're reading along for the blog. We'll start with the 500 millibar chart. These are the upper level winds at about 18 to 22,000 feet off the surface. We're looking there for the storm that will create the severe weather setup for Thursday. The potential here is to have some winds at that level at about 80 to 110 miles an hour. If they're that strong, they're going to create a lot of lift. Think of it like a vacuum cleaner pulling or sucking the air up off of that carpet or off the ground. When that air is rising, it's creating showers and thunderstorms. This is what it looks like when we're talking about radar or the surface maps. Stormy conditions setting up at six o'clock tomorrow. We'll put this into motion. You'll look at this line of showers and thunderstorms move through East Texas along that line because of those strong winds aloft. We have potential to see 70 plus mile an hour winds. We also have the potential to see isolated discrete cells that could spin up a tornado by Friday morning. The threat is gone. Northwest winds and drier air are moving in, so it breaks down like this. 2 to 6 p.m. out toward the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. 6 to 11 is our prime time here in East Texas. After 11 o'clock, those thunderstorms are shifting into Louisiana. One of the things we're looking at, not only at those winds at about 18 to 22,000 feet off the surface, but also winds at 5,000 feet off the surface. They tend to push the thunderstorms. That's the direction those thunderstorms are moving, and they'll be moving from the west to the east. And when we have winds at that level, because of colder air and something called downward transfer or downward momentum, we can see winds in excess of 65 miles an hour easily transferred down to the surface. This isn't a sure bet that it happens, but it gives us an idea that that's a possibility. And again, that's between 6 and 10 o'clock. We have weak to moderate instability, so that's something on our side trying to lessen or mitigate the severe weather threat. But I think the wind shear will overcome that lack of instability. All right, the tornado threat tomorrow is in the enhanced risk area. This hatched area means we could have EF2 or stronger tornadoes, meaning the tornadic winds within those cells could top 120 miles an hour. The wind gusts are also in the high range, so we have a high probability to see winds in excess of 70 miles an hour throughout parts of East Texas, and the hail threat is also enhanced, so we may have some large hail to deal with, perhaps bigger than golf ball sized hail, bigger than ping pong ball sized hail. Another threat that we'll face Thursday will be power outages. Thursday morning, it could be across deep east Texas. Thursday afternoon, it could be across Van Zandt and Rains County. And then Thursday evening, it could be anywhere from Mount Pleasant to Gilmer to Tyler to Longview all the way down to Nacogdoches. Notice the red. That is a severe chance that we could have power outages in southern Russ County as these thunderstorms move through. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions about our CBS 19 weather blog, please don't hesitate to drop me an email. B Anthony at CBS 19.tv. If you have any pictures that you can share with us safely during tomorrow's severe weather, also share those pictures with us weather at CBS 19.tv.